In this video, we're going to be discussing the lever test, which is one of the special tests used in the assessment of an ACL injury. To perform this test, the patient's going to be positioned in supine, with both legs fully extended as you see right here. The PT is going to place one fist under the proximal third of the patient's calf, which you see right here. And then using the other hand, the PT is going to apply a downward force over the distal third of the patient's quadriceps. And notice as I push down on the quadriceps, the lower leg and also the ankle elevate off of the table. And this is because this patient has an intact ACL on this side. So normally the ankle should elevate off the table when the downward force is applied to the quadricep muscle. A positive lever test would be indicated by failure of the ankle to elevate off of the table when the downward force is applied to the distal quadricep. And so basically it would look something like this. So imagine right there I'm pushing down and you notice the lower leg and the ankle are not coming up. That would be a positive test and theoretically would occur when the ACL is not intact. One common mistake when performing the lever test is to have the fist under the patient's calf too proximally, so maybe right here, just barely distal to the knee joint. And if that happens and you put downward force on the quadricep, you may not actually see the lower leg and the ankle elevate off of the table if the ACL is intact, and that increases the likelihood of a false negative. Now the psychometrics of the lever test were evaluated by Vassala et al. in 2020, and they reported a sensitivity at 86% and a specificity of 25%. And since the specificity is so low, this test cannot be used to rule up an ACL injury if it's positive. But the sensitivity is moderate at 86%. In other words, if the lever test is negative, there's an 86% chance that the patient does not have an ACL injury. So now let's take one more look at the lever test from start to finish. The patient's going to be positioned in supine with both legs fully extended. The PT will place one fist under the proximal third of the patient's calf and apply a downward force to the distal third of the patient's quadricep. And if the ACL is intact, you should see the lower leg and thus the ankle elevate off of the table. Again, a positive test indicating an ACL injury would be failure of that ankle to elevate off of the table. Thank you for all your support. Be sure to check out my Instagram for cool science and not science stuff.